about what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. With that, let's get down to Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The excitement growing here in South Florida. As a moment ago, the Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Brandon Garden, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, we've got two teams who know each other extremely well. These division games, they tend to be battles. People scout like crazy in this league, but no one scouts more than within the division. Because if you win your division, you're automatically in the playoffs. That puts extra emphasis on these games, and they can't wait to get at each other. Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. Here comes Philip Dorsett now to return it. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out on the field. after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Game of 
adventure partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. First down is Brady. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts. But don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> Okay, I just need some chocolate and a box of tissue. <laughs> Brady's got his guys first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Brady going to give this one to Burkhead. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Now Brady throwing on second down. This is White on the screen. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Okay, I'm not so great at math, but I just looked over at our statistician, Marvin, and he signaled to me five for five to get things started here on this opening drive. Where I come from, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now, what do you do defensively to adjust? Well, this is where you got to make a decision as, your defensive, as a defensive coordinator. Do you really get after the quarterback, or maybe you tighten down on the receivers, bump them off of their routes, chip away at their timing, so things aren't as precise as they've been in so far in this game. The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. It's first and 10 at the 14. way down right around the 12. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive and once again they show passing formation showing a shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively though to hold it to a short game.
coach from beautiful South Florida. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Miami. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. Under center, it will be the 6'3 quarterback from Alabama, A.J. McCarron. I like A.J. McCarron. Ever since he came out of Alabama, a lot of people wanted to call him cocky. He's extremely confident in his abilities. And a lot of people want to call him a game manager, like it's a, a negative. This guy can actually win games with his arm. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see what he does in Buffalo. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. shutting them down. Hauschka with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Pretty clean and simple there, just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. break the huddle come up first and 10 at their own 25 yard line a first carry for Kenyon Drake and he gets this one just shy of the 40 they'll mark him down at the 39 first down yardage on the first play of the drive give him 14 tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line they didn't just gash him they blasted a gaping hole for him to count up through if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit, thanking them for that much space to rumble. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. 
goes underneath to Drake. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it'll bring up a second down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you'd gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. That's going to set them back five yards. Second and seven. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. He dumps it off to Drake. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. That kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. So negative yardage, a loss of three on second down, and that leads to a tough third down call. and get out of bounds and avoid the big hits. Go, 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 go. 